Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a walkthrough on the multi-information display. This includes the radio, climate control, and personal settings on a Volvo C30. This is a 2007 model. This also applies to the Volvo S40, V50, and C70 models, and may apply to other models as well. Starting out, on Volvos, this is known as a waterfall, and it's basically an open design having a waterfall shape and in behind is a storage compartment. You'll need the key in the accessories position to activate the controls. This display basically controls all the user functions of the car. If some of you are wondering about aftermarket upgrades, I have seen some available on the market, but unfortunately don't have any experience with those products. First is an AM FM controller. This is fairly self-explanatory and switches between the AM and FM radio broadcasting. The car is also equipped with a CD player which is able to read MP3s and an auxiliary port which is located behind the waterfall. To toggle between those two audio sources, that is controlled by another button labeled as mode on the other side of the CD eject. Pressing it activates the function. With the change display, pressing it again switches between the CD and auxiliary options. Next is going into the menu, selecting the CD menu which has its own subsection. We can randomize the music on a disc, have that option off, or play a single folder. Pressing enter will toggle those options on or off. To go back to the subsection, press exit. Next we can display the disc's text, meaning the name of the track. And finally the audio setting. Here we can separately set up the front and rear equalizers. I haven't played around with these settings, I just used the factory presets on the car instead. As far as I know, these cars did have an option of a factory subwoofer, however my car wasn't equipped with that. The third option is adjusting the sound volume for the disc so you don't have a large variation between the radio and CD music. The final option in the subsection is a reset, putting those settings back to factory. Pressing exit, going back to the main menu, next going down to the climate control settings. First is the automatic fan speed, and this is used for when the car first starts up, bringing the interior quickest to your set temperature. We have low, normal, and high presets. A circulation timer can be set up. This allows the air to circulate for 3 to 12 minutes depending on the ambient temperature. This just helps remove moisture or stale air within the vehicle's cabin. And those settings can be reset if you wish. Back to the main menu and moving on to the car settings. While the car doesn't beep when the doors are locked using the remote, you can have the option of having the lights flash as a signal. The same option can be used when unlocking the car too. The doors can be also auto locked, meaning that when the vehicle starts moving, the doors will lock immediately. The next option is when unlocking the doors using the remote. Pressing the unlock button once can either unlock the driver's door or all the doors. If only the driver's door is unlocked, press the remote button again and all the doors will unlock. Approach lighting is an option on the remote. There is a yellow round button. When pressed, the lights will illuminate for a selected duration. For home safe lighting, this is a duration. The lights will remain on when the car is off after the high beam lever is pulled back. Information will show the vehicle's VIN along with the number of keys registered to the car's programming. Exiting out of the menu preferences, on the display it'll show the climate control temperature, fan speed, what vents are activated, and track or radio station being played. This display does not show the time, that is shown on the gauge cluster instead. Pressing enter at the bottom of the panel, this will pull up the CD's folders. I have an MP3 disc in currently, and the music is sorted out by different folders. Using a directional pad, this will allow you to scroll through all the folders. Entering one of the folders will bring up the tracks within, and here you can see the names displayed. Pressing the right direction on the pad will display more text, but there is a max character limit, so it may not fully display the whole name. Pressing enter will play the track and exit brings you back out of the folder. Pressing exit another time brings you back into the main screen. Pressing the tune button will bring up the audio sound settings such as the bass, treble, fade and balance. You can then select the range by rotating the tune knob. The tune knob when on the main screen can either select the radio stations or tracks on the CD too. 
Pressing and holding the right and left movement on the main screen when having the CD activated will scroll faster through a track, skipping a few seconds at a time. Moving on to the climate control features, this car is equipped with dual climate control, meaning that the temperature can be adjusted separately for the left and right sides. Rotating the knob can increase or decrease the temperature. Pushing the button, a light will stay illuminated for the one side and the other side will turn off. The side with the illuminated light is now being controlled individually. Pressing it again moves to the opposite side. Then pressing it another time brings both sides operating at once. The rest of the button settings should be fairly self-explanatory and similar to what is found on most vehicles. Additional information can be found in your owner's manual, and if you don't have one, there is PDF versions available online. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.